Greetings and shalom from Jerusalem. Welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're on part three of our Hanukkah series, and today we're going to start looking at the history of Hanukkah. We're going to be looking at the years 336 to 175 BC. The history of Hanukkah actually starts in the fourth century with the ending of the Persian Empire and the rise to power of Alexander the Great. Now, Alexander ruled Israel and most of the known world from 336 to 323 BC, whereas the Persians had encouraged Jewish religious autonomy. Alexander and those who came after him dominated the world by inflicting their culture upon those they conquered. This willful spread of the Greek culture is called Hellenization. When Alexander the Great died, he divided his empire into four smaller kingdoms to be ruled by his four faithful generals. The two kingdoms which are relevant to the Hanukkah story are the Seleucids of Greater Syria, they were the Greeks, and the Ptolemies of Egypt. For years, Israel was the object of wars between the two kingdoms. For the first hundred years, Israel was under the rule of the Ptolemies, and the Jews enjoyed an element of political and religious freedom. The high priest was both the religious head and the political representative. But in 198 BC, the Seleucids defeated the Ptolemies and Israel came under Syrian rule. To prove their loyalty to the crown and to advance economically and politically, the conquered people had to adopt and participate in the Greek way of life. So once again, many in Israel forsook the ways of the Lord. And we're reading from 2 Kings 17, 14 through 16, which talked about an earlier time. They would not hear but stiffened their necks like the necks of their fathers who did not believe in the Lord their God. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he had made with their fathers and his testimonies which he had testified against them. They followed idols, became idolaters, and went after the nations who were all around them, concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they do not do like them. So they left all the commandments of the Lord their God, made for themselves a molded image and two calves, made a wooden image, and worshipped all the host of heaven and served Baal. By 175 BC, the culture of the Jewish people of Israel had been greatly affected by the influx and influence of the nations. So we want to pray that Israel and the church, I might add, will turn away from the culture of the world and come back to the God of Israel. Father God, that's what we pray. First of all, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, but then we pray for ourselves, for our church, and for Israel that we will turn away from the culture of the world and we will not be conformed to their culture, but we will be transformed by the renewing of our mind, by the washing of the word, and we will follow you with all our hearts, our souls, our minds, and our strength. This we pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. And with that, I say, Lehit Oat, and Happy Hanukkah. Shalom from Jerusalem.